Any more reference or word this movie? Did you guys know that the movie at the very end when he does the selfie? Okay. Yeah. And so we just got done seeing the movie. Yeah. 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 This yeah. is your yeah. Spider-Man yeah. Far From Home yeah. spoiler yeah. movie yeah. review. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. 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 do this. It almost looks like old Iron Spider glasses too. If you think about it's all red. Oh yeah, and if you guys looked on the back side, did you guys see? Yeah, did you see yeah, the yeah. stuff that back there had the PS4 well, I mean, spider actually going like this? Where 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 they are not in PS4. Yeah, well, that's actually a big time. But PS4 knocks to also emulate him, the movie itself. Yeah, back him up. So it makes hell of a difference. They probably be black and red now. Black and red kind of nasty. So he saw something I was trying to read. I couldn't read it. But when Peter, I don't know people, when he goes flying through, you guys know that's Stark. That's Stark Tower, and it's been sold. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we're supposed to look to figure out who bought who, who it. Bought it. Yeah. And there's a little thing on the bottom. What did it say? It said, uh, we're so excited to show you what we have next. I one, think it's Oscorp two, or something. And then a question mark. One, two, and three. And then a question mark. It could be possibly Oscorp. See? Oh. So they're basically saying. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's are so excited. Yeah. Like, like four or five minutes. I hated it. It's better as a minute. Wait. Oh, what? You have You have a mustache, yep. Are we, are we supposed okay. to, we, we're not allowed to talk about spoilers. Yes, no, I, yes, yeah, this is a spoiler 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 review. Spoiler review. Spoiler review. By all means, get it off your chest. It's an honest review because he's, review? He's, very harsh, no, I don't he's a very harsh critic. But um, personally, for me, I really enjoyed the movie. So much action. The ending was... I was shocked. Mind blown. Mind blown. But overall, it was an amazing movie. What did you think about uh, Spider-Man being revealed? As Peter Parker. Oh my God! It, it's kind of it's kind of like remember Iron Man one. I'm Iron Man, but this time yeah, it was like exactly what I was thinking about. It's you like, know, it wasn't like, him that said it, but someone else was like, you know. That was I don't even know how are they gonna continue that. In the yeah, next movie. it's gonna be really interesting because kind of like, deja vu ish, huh? Right? Yeah, the same process. You know, gonna who's know? gonna be the next Iron Man? And it's like almost the same process that Iron Man went through. I mean, now oh, Spider Man's going right. through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The way they did it. How they did the thing and like cut in and cut out thing. Like, oh, what his name is. And his name is, it's Peter Parker. And then here's his like freaking high school photo. Yeah. Oh, the worst photo. Like, a lot of great references in the film. The dialogue's a bit stunted at times, but I appreciate uh, the work that went into it. Uh, CGI was just incredible, and I like the way they nailed Mysterio. Yep, yep, yeah. spider cop. You're raising your hand over Okay, there. yes, yes, I finally figured out something. Okay, I loved the design of the Iron Spider, which obviously is from characters that are from Avengers, but I thought the CGI looked so good in this movie. Yeah. Like, you had those close-up <laughs> shots, and you can see the texture of the suit, you know, it, it wasn't this huge billion dollar movie that had to like spread out their wealth, you know, they needed that suit to look good, it looks so good. On the opposite spectrum of that, Mysterio's um, CGI suit, not the, not his, you know, not the rendered one, not the illusion one, but the suit that he, like the motion capture suit. Yeah. I loved everything that was about that suit. I yeah. loved that it had like the little eyes, like Mysterio logo as part of like the motion capture design. I love that he still had the fishbowl on his head with like the, the tracking of the headset, all that. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I love that he had a little clasp, which is like classic Mysterio design, still in that suit. So even when he's wearing mm -hmm. a motion capture suit, it still looks like Mysterio. Mysterio, still look yeah. At it and say, That's a version of Mysterio's costume. Right. I it's love like a that modern twist. Design. It's it's an adaptation, a modern twist that we totally saw plausible, right? Exactly. 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 Okay, so. I, I loved everything about the movie. The movie was, was pretty awesome. The relationship between Mysterio and Peter Parker in the beginning, you knew, if you were a comic book fan, you knew Mysterio was a bad guy, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you felt for the relationship, you're like, oh man, this, yeah. it was it was almost like, it was almost like, the, yeah, no, it was, it was, and then it was heart-wrenching when, when he was just like, doesn't even care about anything, he just cares about himself and what he mm -hmm. wants to do. So yeah, that, that that relationship between I think Jake Gyllenhaal did a really good job as Mysterio, and their chemistry with with Peter Parker with Tom Holland that was that was awesome. That was mm. awesome. But he really did like Pete. Yeah, 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 yeah he did. But, he did. Yeah. He, that's what he said. Poor kid. Like he just yeah. he, he just he like yeah. didn't want to do it, but then he had, he had to. to. Yeah, yeah his. Yeah, he had to do it to him. Yeah, do it to him. It was really good. And man. he wasn't gonna kill Pete until until he found the truth. He saw the yeah, truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, 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 he tried to give him a skate out yeah, or an exactly. ounce. Oh. But he always has this. It's a classic Mysterio. If you watch the '90s, if you grew up watching the '90s cartoon, he would try to blame him being a bad guy and try to take out take down Spidey the whole time. I'm and sure so to take like a recap of the '1990s cartoon. So I thought it was pretty awesome. And again, if you knew who Mysterio was, it's like a flash. It's like literally a flashback to the call, callback to everything he was. Totally. Yeah. So I thought it was totally, so sick. Bro. Again, special effects was awesome. Yeah. 
and it's just like it was a good ride. Bring up something really small. It got cut off because uh, Nick Fury was talking to Maria Hill yep. about the sleeper agents and how they're, they're supposed to have like top level security and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know the sleeper agents are involved with the secret invasion. Yep. Ending uh, credits. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. My two, like the best thing and worst thing about Mysterio for me. Best thing about Mysterio was those illusions. The entire scene yes. at the abandoned building and the construction site, that was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, to go to my worst scene was to toast when that when he got the glasses and he started doing that oh, toast yeah, yeah, and he kind yeah. of like started explaining every aspect of what everyone does yeah. and kind of like retroactively that fixing it. Corny, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was super corny. Yeah. It was super corny and not in the Sam Raimi way, yeah. like an accidental cheese. I'm like, yeah. oh no. Yeah. When I when I saw this movie, I was like, oh no, yeah. what's going on here? Oh, I don't like, like, you know, it was so cheesy and bad and just <laughs> awful and I hated it and, <laughs> but, but, going to that scene where uh, Monsieur is causing the illusions, like, it's full on Inception. He's doing illusions oh, yeah. within illusions oh, yeah. within illusions oh, yeah. just to get exactly what he wants from Peter. I love that. Yeah. There were so many references and, like, classic Mysterio stuff. Um, what came to mind for me was when he had like the glass shards coming down and he had the multiple Peters. What came to mind for me, right off the bat, was Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 2. The video game version. Oh my gosh. The Mysterio boss battle on that was like one of the best things ever in that game. And to have something that like even reminded me of that with that, that, that classic Mysterio. Also you had all the stuff. The zombie Iron Man was oh, one of the meanest that was, things. That was, that was, that was, was like, like the meanest thing, and like, yeah. oh my gosh. Like, how could you do oh, that? Yeah, yeah, how could you do that? That was nasty. So that scene alone just completely like redeemed that corny toast bar scene. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even with the cheesy thing, it reminded me vaguely of like Dr. Draken from Kim Possible, how I would go over his master plan <laughs> and then yeah. we get like stopped. I was half expecting for Peter to be like, oh, I forgot my jacket. Yeah. 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 Something I found interesting about this movie is Peter Parker was very selfish, and this movie has a lot of tones about being selfish when it came to Mysterio, to Nick Fury, because if he had uh, Edith, he would be very selfish. It would it pretty much end up the same way that the Triskelion did in uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. Uh, and also, I feel like Peter Parker really wasn't taking to heart the great power and great responsibility that it was imparted in by Ben, and also by Iron Man. He doesn't want to step into those shoes, so he tries to run away from the problems, but the thing is, he has a responsibility to, to fulfill it. And spidey circle. And now it makes Peter a more whole person, it makes her, it, him a more complete character, and honestly was a very interesting story to watch. Ooh. I love that input, bro. That that was very because I love when we, we we pick at the moralities and and it's like what we mentality of Peter the, Parker. Yeah, that's what we all really are going to relate to. It's like you so relate exactly. to a little bit more. Yeah. yeah, it's also very much the opposite of Homecoming, right. with Peter like, wanting that kind of. Oh yeah, so yeah. 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 What he calls yeah. 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 Well, that makes yeah. sense because he just has yeah. to deal with everyone. Yeah. He's like, never mind. Yeah. He didn't know what he wanted to die right in front of him. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna, and he's not, you got to understand too that this is something that's being like, here, you have to do this. And it's kind of like he never he's said so he so wanted cheap. to do yeah. this. So yeah. it's like he's being forced into a role. Well, and also, yeah. also he's he never seen death before. Until before, until Avengers, this is the first time him. Suffering casualties, yeah, and death, sure, and everything, everything else is like no pain. Because he wasn't yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we can't say Ben because we haven't seen the MCU of Ben. But that's exactly right, that the entire conflict of this movie comes about because of Peter dodging that responsibility of doing the right thing. I have a he gives the glasses to, uh, to Quentin because he doesn't want them. He doesn't want that responsibility. He's looking for a scapegoat. He, he's looking for something because he doesn't want it. When Ned's asking about, well, what about he the mentioned, He what mentioned about the on just a neighborhood, uh, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man like several times. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Not, not like Homecoming yeah. where he, he wanted to be an Avenger. Yeah. 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 yeah.
it's going to be a, like bringing him to Guardians, or maybe something happens in the next Guardian movie that Spider-Man is called for. Ah. Or we're going with what was originally in the comics, where he splits off and creates his own team, uh, including Ricochet and the Hornet to mutants. Ah, I think you're onto something there, because that, that's we've heard a lot about plans about the new Avengers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the yeah. end of this whole next ten-year saga that they're planning is they want to bring the new Avengers. And Spider-Man leads that way. That is. So Spider-Man's reputation. I love that this perfectly establishes Spider-Man as the untru untrustworthy hero that Jameson sees him to be. Yeah. This yeah. is Spider-Man being a menace in the public menace. eye. Because in like uh, to use the Raimi movies as an example, you never get why people of New York don't like Spider-Man. There's never a reason that they don't like Spider-Man. He's a hero. He, he saves people. He's well, clearly... Remember, you know, remember in the comic book, J. Jonah Jameson didn't dislike him because he wore a mask. He didn't, he didn't, uh, was, he didn't reveal his identity. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, so, did, something, yeah. did something happen to J. J. Jonah's family? Son. Something. something that would be his friend. Because yeah. his friend was attacked by Tombstone and he would still be bullied and eventually killed by Tombstone. So he had yeah. this chip on it. You know, he, he wants to prove that he's, he's an enemy. Now that they did this little twist... You know, uh, I don't know how they're gonna kind of go on into the next Spider-Man. But another thing, I'm so happy they brought back the original J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 So I yes. didn't want to tell you guys that was major spoil, but oh. I think that, that would hit all you guys. Dude, I know you yeah. all feel me. Yep. That's the yeah. only man that can play legit. that part. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that highlighted for me throughout the movie, from start to finish, from start. Right off the bat, the Iron Spider suit. I got a lot more detail in that Sp mm -hmm. Iron Spider. I got mm -hmm. to see that Iron Spider suit for what it really was. Oh Not just bounce around, too much action scenes. I never even got to appreciate that Iron Spider suit. I finally got to appreciate yeah, that Iron stuff. Spider suit. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. How, 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 how the head went on and off. Yeah. 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 Real close right here, you can yeah. actually see. Yeah. Like that, it, it, yeah. Yeah. it came up. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. it was kind of cool if you really Now, moving past that, moving past that geeker point, uh, the, the, Okay, Aunt May. Aunt May knowing that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. It's just out the window already. I mean, every other line of comic book and cartoon and everything, it's Can't always like, drag. we. there's always been that speculation that Aunt May knows. No. Yeah, but oh, yeah, she yeah. never says it. Yeah. Yeah. Here, it's just like, so. Yeah, okay, no big deal. He was in front of the crowd, and it, one of the little girl was wearing, wearing like a homemade Spider-Man paper plate that. mask. Yeah. Yeah. That was literally the first form of like birthday party masks that they were, um, you, you know, that, like yeah. we would hand out paper masks that we can go buy. Yeah, they yeah. never had that, bro. So all the kids would make paper plate Spider-Man masks, and now yeah. I swear that was a total nod to the Spider-Man fans throughout history. Mm -hmm. Not just yeah. for us now, he made the suit. Dude, that is yeah. awesome that because cool. aside from yeah. the pajama suit, which was all crooked, janky, you know, that was his first phase, bro. Now we got phase three, and he knows what he's doing, he had the tech to do it, mm -hmm. and he finally made his own. We finally saw yeah. Peter yeah. Parker in made his own. Not, so not he, the Iron Spider was giving it to him. It, not it, it portrayed like his, his intelligence to all this yeah. stuff. That he, he, just, he just knew what he was doing right yeah. away. Like, well, that's why that's why that's why Happy you know looked at him yeah. and he was yeah. like. Yeah. 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 Like I said, more so, I'm, I'm really actually almost now worried about what the future is going to hold oh, for yeah. Spider-Man movies. We're obviously going to see Spider-Man 3. They have a plan for three movies. We just got second. We know what's going on now. Now, Spider-Man is going to be the complete next more seasoned phase. I think he's going to be going through a lot more what do I do, how I do I, how do I... Come back, bro. How do I deal with people? Yeah, you know he's going to become more of Peter Parker. I think we're going to see a more element of building the Peter Parker, as well as the Spider-Man together. Versus the past two movies have been like the first movie was like here's Peter Parker, the second movie was like totally here's your Spider-Man, and the third one I think is going to really seal the deal. Girls in the situation of how, how long about has the girls? they've been, been just yeah, walking those around? Two how long has it been? Has it been since the nineties? Ever since or I watched before that, or was it? You know, or was it scrolls? I know, we know scrolls eventually start trying to invade hard, right? You know, we we they're friendly now, mm. but what's gonna they're happen? Sweet. I don't know. I'm telling you guys, 
I, that whole little conversation that you know you caught where he's like the sleeper agents, he's calling them creed agents. I think there's a reason because he knows there's other people around listening to him because he is Nick Fury. Everyone, mm -hmm. everyone they're always yeah. listening. He said that we're always listening. So he knows if he would have said that we have sleeper agents around here, they would have been like, what? Yeah. And then you see Fury up in space, you guys, and he's on. You guys know that sword. He's with him. Yeah. He has no he's probably sword. spying on them. Yeah, you know that yeah. sword, right? That's I guarantee that yeah. he knows what's going on, yeah. Fury, but he's. Not gonna say nothing. He's gonna wait till the threat comes, and he's probably gonna go to Cap. Well, Marvel. that's what he does. He's that's what he does. He like Marvel. he prepares. You know, and I'm course. telling you right now, like, and that almost that's huge, you guys. Mm -hmm. That is huge. In the yeah, that's gonna be like that changes everything. The next phase, because that would mean a scroll. If that happened in the '90s, because that means a scroll could play Avengers. Yeah. yeah. And now, what are they? What have yeah, exactly? Well, how have they grown? How many skulls are around acting as people now? Mm -hmm. right. yeah. and you all know in the comic like, books, they act. They end up being Avengers. Yeah, and in some of the cartoon series and stuff like that, they mm -hmm. do. They're tall, the tall Avengers, Avengers they, before they, 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 like, they don't uh, even know it. So right now, Nick Fury and whatever I forget her name, but Maria those two Maria. are scrolls on Earth, but being known right now as Nick Fury and Maria Hill. See, yeah. scrolls are right. So. Yeah. That, you see yeah. what I'm saying? Like the secret invasion, I think it's already on, you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it has been. I think it's already going on. And I don't know if you guys know the comments. The sleeper agent is basically like they're up in their little whatever that big ass ship they're in. And there's like a switch. They just and every sleeper agent right now they think they're a human being. They're walking around thinking they're actually that person. Yeah. When that thing is swept on them, they they literally close their eyes and they know they're they know oh, what's going yeah. on. Now like they're in mode. They're in. Scroll mode, okay, we're in Basie. Like invasion of the pod people. <laughs> 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 there's there's oh, tons of people because we have this oh, oh, like, oh, 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 Exactly, they're running like, using Google or something, but there is tons there's of, scrolls. I think there's tons of scrolls around. Yeah, yeah. You see how many are on the ship? Yeah. 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 Think about it, you, you know, tell yeah. me that there's like, no guys that went down to the Raise of hands, who already knew what was going on with Mysterio? Like, yeah, right, bro, you're fake. Right, I mean, we've all seen the '90s I mean, series. Bad. We all know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was on point. I, I felt yeah. bad, but I didn't. Yeah. 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 All hands raised. Trust a book by its cover. Can't look at the idea. Like he, yeah. he says it yeah. like yeah. three yeah. different ways, yeah. and you're like, why does he keep freaking saying mm -hmm. that? Because it's a secret invasion. No, yeah. Yeah. You can't trust me. Yeah, I might be Nick Fury. I might be helping him, but you can't trust me. No, exactly. You can't trust me at all. You really don't know who I am. And I'm thinking like, okay, why does he keep saying that to people? Even though he knows he's a scroll, he's actually telling you don't trust a book by its cover. Like, why? I think that's, why I think that's yeah. a message you know what? for the audience, for the audience about, I think, I these, really about scrolls. Yeah. So even though Talos could be a good guy, he's trying to like say, look, here's this thing going on. I can't tell you what it is, but, <laughs> but yeah, don't do. trust people. Even me, even yeah. though I'm Not here to help around. you, and given, like, don't so then, trust uh, people. That gives me an idea on the scrolls that maybe they don't want to do this. This could be like Some the original storyline like with the scroll. Well, it could be yeah, that super yeah. scroll. Well, yeah, the super yeah. scroll. Yeah. Super yeah. Scroll. Well, I forget about yeah. that. We're getting that backstory. Yeah. Yeah. Super scroll is going to play a part in that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. him and Pipe. Yeah. See, and you see, okay, so it makes sense that they're going to bring the four Fantastic Four now that they've introduced the scrolls. I think that, and you saw, you guys will do the Fantastic Four right now. I think Fantastic Four is going to be the first of the group that's going to be introduced into the MCU from what they wanted to do. Have you guys seen the touch of so supposedly Phase Four locked up yet? That's oh, going yeah, to be out. No. So you know yeah. Doctor Strange's movie is called Illuminati. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. because yep. it has, uh, Iron Man. Well, I don't have to be Spider-Man now. Right. Iron Man, uh, Black Panther, Namor, and it's oh. called Illuminati, you guys. Uh, yeah. We man. talked about. They talked about. Um, I forget which the last one they talked about, like the underwater earthquakes, right? Oh, that was yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. That was, that was that in Endgame. They just recently put up that um, he's being looked at for the thing. Yes. Oh, oh. He, 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 was, he was congratulating the Avengers for the movie and all Marvel, and he's like, you know, it's, it's a fantastic thing here, you know, and you know, maybe some more fantastic things are gonna be happening in the future. Uh, oh, the key keep word. Saying that. Yeah. Nod, yeah. nod. Yeah. 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 And think about it. It would make sense to make the rock. The rock. The, 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 the rock. I said that is yeah. a smart move for Disney. Make him so star. Make him so star. But it would make sense to make the rock the thing because that's no, a big deal. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a smart. That's a smart move. I know everything you want. And you guys know yeah. where the thing. Oh, you know where the thing actually comes from. Uh, what he comes from. What he actually really is. What he actually really is. Not it's really alien, man. you guys. You've seen his, you've seen his race all the time. Oh, the, the, oh, oh the, well, no. No. I mean, it's close to that, but. Yeah.